What's going on guys, CypherCX here bringing you another Elden Ring video. This time we are learning to parry Margit the Fell Omen. So, right here you'll notice he does some heavy attacks. Some of these attacks like those, those swipes, you're going to have to parry them twice. And you'll be able to get a critical on him. Um, I only got the one parry there as you saw earlier. Um, these moves, that one you could parry, I messed up there. This one you could parry, I messed up there. Again, I wasn't used to his timing, but once I learned it and I saw that those light attacks were parryable, I tried to go for them as often as I possibly could. You're going to see that this, I tried to parry these, didn't work quite well. Those you got to dodge out of. It's a heavy attack, something that you can't really um, go against. This you can parry. That one you can parry. But again, you got to get them right. You got to time them right. It takes a lot of patience and just, you know, waiting to see where the arm movement is. Something like that you got to dodge out of. Heavy attack, can't deal with those with the parry something like that i tried the parry but then i dodged got the parry there and you're gonna see get the critical so a lot of this is just waiting for the right move and you really got to be close enough and have enough stamina because sometimes it takes you know one or two um attempts to parry in order to actually get the critical on him so you always do want to be aware of attacks like this the quick ones where there's stabs and pokes that you can't uh parry Something like that I could have parried, but I messed up. I parried there, and I got the, I got the um, first hit. But if I would have gotten that third one, I would have gotten the critical. So that's what I mean when it comes down to certain moves. When you parry, you have to hit them twice, or you have to parry it twice in order to get the critical reveal. You can see here, I go for it again. One, and boom. Got him. Here, dodge, dodge, dodge. Got to dodge out of this. Clearly, that's not going to be parryable. Something like that is parryable. Got him once. And there we go. We get the critical. So that's what I was talking about, where you need to get him twice sometimes. Where one will stagger him. Well, knock him off, but then the second one will actually stagger him and give you the poise break. Got to dodge those. This has to be dodged. And there you go. You get the parry. And once more, you get the parry. And he get, reveals the critical, hit him. And this is about it for well, it. everyone. I hope you learned something, because I sure did fighting this boss. It was nice to finally get Margaret the Fell down using just parry. Now we know how to parry Margaret the Fell. This is another one in the books for Elden Ring guides. Learn to parry. Catch you later.